it's Tanya again with ScrappyChicks.com and your creative partner with Kiwi Lane. Today I am bringing you a project share. And what I'm what this is called is a file folder mini album. And I did not use file folders to make this. I actually used the file tab board punch to get the actual album itself, but I used the Kiwi Lane October Club Kit paper um, and templates. The club kit's called Homegrown Harvest. Homegrown Harvest is what it's called. It was October 2020's club kit. It came with the tree embellishments. It also came with the different paper. And so this is what I used to create this. I used the paper from the kit. So I really like this. So I went in search on Pinterest again for something to do kind of out of the box and I discovered this um, mini album tutorial. So I will try and link. It led me to a YouTube video and I don't remember who it was so I have to go back in my watch history. That way I can put her link on there and she actually has a tutorial on how to make this using the punch board. Um, super easy so yeah I think you would enjoy making these so I'm gonna flip through and show you I modified mine I always do that so I modified mine but the front I did a tree using the tree Kiwi Lane tree templates and it says file for Jesus he never leaves which was my favorite sentiment card that was in that kit the kit comes with coordinating paper front and back pattern paper 12 by 12 and then it has all these different size sentiment sentiment cards um that are the sizes of like project life cards and they have different coordinating paper and sentiments that match the whole line so what i did was i just converted these in and used them throughout this book i used most of the sentiment cards in the previous project that i did um I'll put a link below for that tutorial because I used most of them in that previous, um, I think I called it a loaded scrapbook pocket album. I think it's what I ended up calling it. So I used most of the sentiment cards in that. So I'm going to flip through and show you this. So all of the shapes, like the banner shape, I'll leave below all the um, templates that I used. This was a Kiwi Lane template. This has a pull-out card, so I left it optional because I'm not sure if I'm going to give this album away as a gift so for someone else to finish and personalize and make it their own. So that's why it, it may not have that complete look feel because somebody might want to add a journal box to this or they might want to put a photo on this side and put a or a photo on this side or a journal box on this side. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to re-gift this to another crafter who might enjoy personalizing this and so I left this um, like that as well so you can either put a photo or you can journal or write a note or a message and then this opens up and these are all Kiwi Lane templates and then I made these pull out so you can call them bookmarks if you want to and I use the leaf templates and so these just coordinate throughout the book and the ribbon came from the Dollar Tree I went back to get more of this ribbon at my local Dollar Tree and they were sold out I haven't found it at any of the other Dollar Trees but I really like this crochet ribbon to me it has this country farmhouse look so I was going back to get more and I couldn't find it so I was kind of bummed about that but that's okay so then it opens up to two more pockets. This you can either journal or you can add a photo. And on the back side is for a photo or journaling as well, your choice. And the sentiment says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So I just used a template and put it on the, the card and cut it out. And this could be photo or journaling on both sides, whichever you prefer. And I left room for a, a small photo that this could hold a two by two photo if someone wanted to put a photo there. 
And then this is for a, either a note or a photo as well. And this is for a photo. And all of these templates, again, are Kiwi Lane. And then this is the trees, some of the trees that were in the set. And then I did a waterfall option for photos. And I hope you can see this. Let me stand up and look in my camera frame. Yeah, okay. So this is for a waterfall option. And this for photos. So you could do a photo on the bottom and the top. Bottom, top, bottom, top, if you wanted to. Or if you just want to leave it so you can see the pattern paper. It's up to whoever gets this book can do it either way. So I left options. Oh, this is all my notes of which ones I used in my dimensions. So I used the 12 by 12. I used three pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock on this. Yes. Three pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. That's how I made this. So the cover is one piece cut down. Each file folder is a piece, but it's double-sided. So it looks like more pay, more pieces of paper, but it was actually only three pieces of 12 by 12 paper. So this is fairly simple and easy, um, which is what I like in my craft project. So I'm gonna put my cheat sheet notes back on the back. So I will leave all the dimensions I'll leave that tutorial. Um, I'm going to have to find it on my YouTube history of who made this. So I will leave that below in case you want to make your own. You can follow her tutorial. It's super easy. It's really good. Um, if you have the punch board, you can use the punch board, the tab punch board, I think is what it's called. If you don't, that's okay. If you, if, if you cut your 12 by 12 paper, and you have a tab, you can actually trace it out and cut around it. So you don't have to have that. You can use an envelope punch board too um, to make tabs. And there's tons of tutorials. If you want me to do a tutorial, I will. Just let me know in the comments below. I don't want, I don't like duplicating things that are already out there because uh, YouTube and social media are saturated with the same repetitive stuff. And that's okay. I just don't want to be another one that adds to it. But everybody teaches in a different way. So if you want to see a tutorial, I will make one on how to make these. So you can just let me know what you want to see. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And um, check out my website, scrappychicks.com. I have blog posts on Usually on everything on YouTube, I have a coordinating blog post. So I just leave all the links in YouTube. That way you don't have to go on a hunt. You can just click on a button and it'll take you straight straight to what you're looking for. So thank you again. I appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.